Greetings and welcome everyone. In this lesson, I want us to discuss the states of matter, the particle model of matter. You may recall on one of our lessons, we discussed matter as anything that occupies space and has mass. And we also mentioned that all matter is made up of tiny particles, which we call atoms. So all matter can be grouped into three phases or three states and these are liquids they are your solids as well as gases so now um, these particles in all these three phases they are arranged differently they've got different characteristics yes they may have similar characteristics but they are quite different for instance on, on, on solids the particles in solids are packed closely together and they've got a regular arrangement now this will give a solid matter a defined shape whereas in liquids they are loose, loosely arranged and now this means that a liquid will take the um, the shape of the container if you if you pour water into a container it will take that shape but still if you pour it on the ground it will still remain um, as as liquid and then when it comes to gases the particles in gases have no particular arrangement and also the particles in gases they move very fast um, and then with liquids as well, they move very fast, but not as fast as those that are found in gases. Whereas in solids, they, they don't move around. They don't move around at all because they've got strong forces between them. But with, 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 with liquids, they've got weaker forces. And also when it comes to gases, these have like very weak uh, forces um, they are weaker than those forces that are found in liquids and in terms of spaces that is found between these particles with gases they've got quite big spaces whereas in liquids and solids they've got small spaces between them so sometimes it happens for these particles to spread out and separate so they will move from an area of high concentration where there are many particles to an area of low concentration where there are just fewer fewer particles so you can imagine this in a diffuser for example or even a humidifier so the particles in the will move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration and also even when we add let's say a food colorant into water the particles of the food colorant will start spreading slowly slowly um, but surely of course into that water until the 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 they are diffused evenly in that in that liquid so the diffusion in gases will happen faster as compared to that of liquids then sometimes it happens for for these phases to change from one phase to another phase and this can be caused either by heating or, or cooling. So, for, for example, a solid, a solid phase can change from its solid phase into a liquid phase. And we call this, this process or we call this um, change melting. And again, the liquid phase can also change from its liquid form into solids. And this is what we call freezing. And I think these two are most familiar to, to us. But again, the liquids can change from their state into a gas phase. 
this we call the process of evaporation and also the gas will for will change from a gas phase into condensation and we call um they will change from gases into liquids and we call this condensation and you you may be familiar with with, with these two evaporation and condensation um on water cycles um if you if if you have come across that or even from your previous grades if you are you are a primary school or a high school learner so you you may have had of of these or even just um a general general discussion general discussions um so again um it's possible for solids to change into gases and we call this phase sublimation and the last phase is when gases change now into in into solids and we call this process deposition so that's it for me thank you for listening thank you for joining for joining me until next time thank you